Ah yes, in episode 29 I have a fun new little subject for you. I have a bunch of these flat cars, and they're not bad cars except the top is ugly. So I'm going to show you how to fix them up and make them look better. These tops generally pop right off, they're plastic. You want to be really careful not to scratch or dent the car underneath, but once you get the top off, well there you have it. It's a nice little car that just needs a top. So to start off with, you're going to need a couple things. I like to use plain old household white glue, in this case Elmer's. Gives you plenty of time to work with it and dries mostly dry, or clear I mean. And then of course you're going to need a chopper too. This chopper too is possibly my most favorite tool. There's no better tool to make accurate repetitive cuts again and again and again, chop, chop, chop. And of course you're going to need some wood. Just about the smallest wood you can get if you're going to be working with end scale. Then you put some of the white glue right along the edge of the car. And not too much, less is better. And then you start putting the boards on. Now these boards were never exactly accurate and lined up correctly on the original car, so yours don't have to be either. Just kind of put them on there and make them fairly close. Once the glue dries on the decking, then you want to distress it. A really hard bristled metal brush or your razor knife, scratch, 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 scratch. You're giving it texture. You don't want to make it look new. And then one of my favorite friends are these weathering powders. You can get a very interesting combination of colors on your fresh wood. And of course, we want to make these cars look like, well, they're well used. There's all kinds of colors that are in them. And here you go from the first to the end. Looks quite a bit different, doesn't it? As you start to play with this technique, you'll be able to figure out exactly what you like as far as color and texture and stuff like that. They really look a whole lot better. Now the next question is, what are you going to put on them? These flat cars, of course, need stuff on them. As you put together your loads, think about a story behind it. What's the story? What's going on here? In this case, a couple of lucky farmers have tractors coming their way. Life's going to be easier for them. I'm sure they're looking forward to them. And lumber. Lumber's always a good choice. Now look at the way that I have them chained down. Of course, everything on these cars have to be kept in place. This real fine chain really works well. And then, of course, you have to ask the question, what does a flat car look like after the load is taken off? Make it look like something. Make a story up. Have fun with it. Well, thanks for joining me here in episode number 29. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Come back and visit me again sometime. Enjoy your layout and your trains. Bye now.